guys, welcome to Fat Bella Duchess. Jesus, it's been such a long time since I've posted anything and I was like, you know what, I really need to get back on YouTube and I just really, really, really need to be more consistent with my videos. Um, I have been active on social media for those who follow me, you know, Fat Bella Duchess is my hair page and the Duchess is my personal page i will link those pages down below make sure you follow me on there as well but yeah it's been a while and i actually really miss youtube um yeah i miss my followers i miss everyone who's been supporting me on youtube etc so i was like you know what this year 2020 i want to get back on youtube i'm going to be more serious and more consistent with my work and just basically connect with my followers um, so yeah, and you know, I decided to not just only do like hair videos, I want to do like health and lifestyle and talk about different subjects, etc. So yeah, without further ado, if you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and watch all the way to the end. And for those who are already subscribed to my channel, thank you for your patience, thank you for still following me. I hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, let's get it started. Okay, so today, so today basically I'm going to put on my lace frontal unit. This unit is a bit old. It's about, I would say, six months old. Um, it was, um, well, it's still eight, well, I would say it was a 13 by 4 lace frontal unit. As you can see, it's a little bit shorter now because obviously over time when you wear, wear a lace frontal unit, the lace starts bolding, so you start keep on cutting it down, cutting it down, cutting it down until it has no life anymore. Those who wear lace front units literally know what I'm talking about. So my unit has reached that stage, but I just want to show you guys, you know, how to still rock your unit um, after it's been, you know, been worn out and it gets to this stage, like how to basically put it on, etc. So that's what, what I'm going to do basically today. The length of this unit is my twin, it's about 22 inches and I used about three to four bundles, I say three and a half bundles. So it's, you know, it's, it's got quite a lot of volume. And yeah, basically I'm going to show you how I put it on and how I start. So normally I do use a wig cap um, before I put on my unit, but I'm not going to use that today because, you know, I feel like wig caps are more for like if you're going to like a special occasion and you just really want that perfect, like the perfection, the perfect look, then yeah, putting a wig cap underneath and gluing it on um, is fine. But if you're just basically going out, you know, just a normal out thing or you're just, you know, going to work or etc., you can literally just put your lace front on straight away and that's what I'm going to do today. So, um, yeah, so I thought I heard something. Anyway, so let's get started. So, for that, I use my Got To Be spray and my blow dryer. So, I'm just gonna get to that. Um, so, what I like to do, let me see if it's on. So what I like to do, I like to use my blow dryer and I'm just using my um, Ultima 500 Pro by Diva Professional Style and I absolutely love this blow dryer because it's, you know, the strength and the heat is something else. It's really strong and it's really good. It's lasting nice for quite a while as well. So um, as you know, I'm using my Got To Be spray. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spread it on my edges. Don't look at my camera, so I know they're a bit old. I need to get to the local hair salon and get my hair wash and conditioned and basically re it so it's nice and fresh probably do that sometime this week but I just really wanted to do this video today so I'm just going to ignore my edges and basically use the gut to be spray to kind of like sneak it down and yeah I'm just going to use that to kind of like sneak your baby hair out Great, so now that is out of the way. This stage is just for those, like I said, you know, if you have a lot of baby hair or whatever, it's just to basically get the hair out of the way it's for a neat install so it doesn't interfere when you put the lace on. So now I'm just gonna basically put my wig on and see where it fits. 
it's pardon me if I keep on looking down just because I've got a mirror right in front of me so I can actually see what I'm doing. The, the camera's a bit far away so I can't use the camera to see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna have to use um, my little mirror that's in front of me. So by the way guys, how were you guys Valentine weekend? Did you guys have a good time? What did you guys do? Did you guys go out? Please comment down below. Are you someone that kind of like celebrates Valentine? Or you don't? Like personally me, I'm a huge, huge, huge Valentine fan. Like I love celebrating Valentine, whether I'm in a relationship or not, because I don't personally believe like Valentine is just for people who are in a relationship. I feel like it's an all-round day for love. And I feel like it can, you know, you can celebrate with anyone, like with friends, family, or your boyfriend. So, you know, I just feel like it's a nice thing to celebrate. And loads of people were like, oh, I don't believe in Valentine's Day. Um, if you're in a relationship, you should be happy throughout the whole year. It doesn't, you don't necessarily have to celebrate Valentine's Day. It doesn't mean anything. And you know what? I do understand that, but that's to me is like saying like, oh, um, you know, like, oh, when it's your birthday, you don't have to celebrate your birthday because you're awake another day. It's like, it's still a special day that's been taken out, do you know what I mean? And I just feel like, why not celebrate it? It's a day of love, just celebrate it, do you know what I mean? Because it's like, I feel like it's a nice gesture to show the person that you're with, like, you know, your appreciation and just spend some time together and just make it like a nice occasion. It doesn't mean that on, like, all the other days that those days are not special you don't have to go you know full out on those days i just feel like to celebrate it's not like a big deal and for the people who are not in relationships as well like don't be looking on social media and be all depressed and think oh my god why don't i have a valentine or why can't i get this why i can why can't i get that i just feel like you know just yeah i don't know just make yourself happy like if you don't have a boyfriend like I'm sure you have friends, do something nice with your friends, go to like the cinema, watch a nice movie, have something to eat, catch up with someone that you haven't seen for a long time. And if you're not in a relationship as well, but if there's someone that likes you or wants to take you out, why not let the person take you out? Just enjoy your day and have a good day. It's only once a year. So why does not make it like a nice day? Like, yeah, that's just how I feel like. But anyway, back to this. Um so basically, I'm just measuring to make sure, like, it's on the right, you know, measurement. Because the thing is, for some reason, the lace front is as well. When you keep cutting it, obviously, the measurement, measurements and the fitting becomes a bit different. So it can look a bit different as well. So that should be fine. So now we're gonna get to the gluing. So I use um, Bold Hold. I like Bold Hold, it's very strong. When you wear it, it stays on for like, it could stay up to like a few weeks, depending on your application. Um, so then I'm just gonna put like one or two layers. Normally I put three if I want a more long lasting hold. But for today, just for the video, I'm just gonna put one or two layers um, using my stick. Not my hands, it can get really messy when you're using your hands. I'm just using, I just call it a stick, but I'm sure there's a name for it, but <laughs> I don't know it, so don't judge me. Um, so I'm just going to use this to kind of like put it on and rub it out so it, it dries up easier. And I'm going to get some hair clips, which I just realized I forgot. Bear with me for one second. So just for um, a neat application, I'm using like a little fine tooth comb, and I'm just going to kind of like comb this like away from the face just to make sure that the hair really doesn't interfere and then I'm going to just use this to kind of like clip it away make sure like all the hair is out of the way and just have like a smooth application and you know what yeah just to go back to this whole valentine thing I just feel like it's a two-way street as well as much as we ladies, we want to get pampered and rely on our partner to get us present and to take us out and whatnot. I just feel like it's a two-way street. Like I feel like we women can make the effort as well. We can like book a nice place, take our man out, show them appreciation, appreciation as well, buy them a nice gift as well. Because I just feel like it's a it's a two-way street on that particular day. I feel like yeah, you know, 
We should not just rely on guys on, or our men to kind of like do it all. Um, I feel like it's nice for us to also like plan the day, maybe book a restaurant, book a nice spa, etc. And for couples who've been in like long term relationships and they don't really celebrate it anymore, because I was asking one of my friends, like, oh, you know, are you ready to do something for Valentine's Day? And she's like, oh no, we don't celebrate that. And I just feel like it's because she, they've been in the relationship for so long, so I feel like that day kind of like dies out. Personally, I just feel like don't let that happen, spice the relationship up. Like Valentine's Day is even really like a good opportunity to kind of like spice the relationship up. A day to take out, to do something nice, to you know bring that fire into that relationship again. To you know just to spend that day. Um, but yeah, that's how I feel. I might be wrong, and you know people might. Kind of like disagree with me and that's absolutely fine but i just do feel like days like that it's nice to show your partner appreciation and i just feel like it goes a long way you know creating memories and stuff like that um okay so now i'm gonna basically put on my bold hold on my head i have makeup on already as well the application can be a bit more messier i do prefer putting on my wig first and then do my makeup after but because obviously i'm filming it i wanted to do my makeup first and then do the week after but I would do it the other way around on a normal occasion so so as you can see like the first layer is already dried by the time I got to this side so we're gonna add one more layer So one thing you want to do when you're doing this application as well is like you really want to like pull it and press it whilst you're doing it. Don't mind the bits that are not like down like these. You can always do those later as long as the main ones are, are done. Okay, so now because I'm really pulling on this side, I'm going to have to hold the other side otherwise Okay, so I'm just going to use a clip to kind of like clip this away and then now that it's done, I'm going to use the elastic band. I'm just going to put it just right on the lace. Uh, I'm going to do like a side part. Not too much of a side because obviously the, um, my part, the closure, as you can see, you can see the closure, you can see the frontal and it's hit. So we're going to use our best friend, which is a hot comb. And we're just going to comb the roots so that they're nice and silky. So now we wait a little bit. I would say like the longer you have this head scarf or headband or whatever it is, elastic band on, the more flatter and the longer your front will actually last. Um, so, as you can see, like I didn't even leave it for that long, like literally 10 minutes, but look how slick this is. Look how slick. Hard. Just use a bit of got to be spray. We're going to 
tongue this hair. So for that, I'm going to use my Babliss um, one. This is the 38 inch. I absolutely love this one. Um, it's basically to create like big volumized curls. Basically, what we're going to do is basically we're just going to um, divide our hair in sections. So I'd like to divide my hair in twos. And then we'll just start from underneath, working our way upwards. So anything. So with that one, you like to shoot the hold it like downwards and you just wrap your hair away from the face, flat on the wand. And then you leave it for about one minute, so 50 seconds to about one minute. And you can let it drop or you can actually clip it with a section clip, which I usually like to do because it just holds the curl and just have like a longer lasting curl which will last you throughout the week. So it's just clip it away like that. And it's got onto the next one. Yo, finally done. So I'm just gonna let this sit for like 10 to 15 minutes because the longer these curls hold, the longer these curls will last. So it's been about 15 minutes now. So. Okay guys, so let's put everything in place. So guys, so this is the end result. I hope you guys like it. I absolutely love it. This hair is just pan. I feel like I want to go out now. It's Monday and I've got nowhere to go. Like really, I did not choose the right day to do this video. But you know, I have to do it for you guys. So yeah, let me just let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love these waves. Hair and the snatch, no baby hair type of look. So yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in my next video.